Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Ex-Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio was sentenced to 22 years in prison today for his conviction on charges of seditious conspiracy and several other felonies in connection with his leadership role of the Capitol attack in 2021. Tens of thousands of Burning Man festival goers are slowly making their way home from the Nevada desert after muddy conditions from heavy rains had attendees stranded over the weekend. Event organizers said it could take up to seven hours for people to exit the desert. First Lady Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. The White House says she is experiencing only mild symptoms and will remain at the family home in Delaware. President Biden, who is not with her, has tested negative. Three swimmers have died and several others have had to be rescued due to rip currents at Jersey Shore over the weekend. Lifeguards and swimmers seen forming a human chain in the water to try and save a 24-year-old man who drowned at Beach Haven in Ocean County. The risk of riptides were increased along the East Coast due to remnants of Idalia. Alex Murdoch's defense hosted a press conference today to announce their request for a new trial based on evidence of jury tampering. Murdoch is currently serving a life sentence after being convicted of murdering his wife and son. Extreme weather in Greece has killed at least one person after a wall collapsed. The country is dealing with torrential rains, leaving cars, homes and roads flooded. A new program is letting California drivers test out digital licenses. It's meant to deter ID thefts as well as make it easier to get through security. The test program is open to over a million Californians. All you have to do is download the DMV My Wallet app. A video of students doing a Nazi salute at Delta High School in Clarksburg is making its rounds on social media. The River Delta Unified School District is investigating. San Francisco is the first city in the world to allow two separate self-driving taxi companies to offer paid rides in the city. Cars can be ordered with Waymo or cruise through their apps. As millions spent Labor Day on the beach, freshly fallen snow was dusting the mountains in Utah over the holiday weekend giving Snowbird Resort a first taste of winter. Snow totals this early are not recorded at the resort. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.